Hey guys, this week in science, we are going to be talking about specific animal characteristics. And right now we're going to talk about sorting them by the way that they move. So we are sorting animals by the way they move. I've come up with four categories. They could walk or run, they could hop and jump, they could fly, or they could swim. So by figuring some animals out and sorting them, we can figure out which animals are alike by the way that they move to get around. I have my trusty sidekick Elizabeth and she is going, I'm going to say a animal and she's going to tell me if it goes under walk or run, hop and jump, fly or swim. So Elizabeth, our first one, fish. Swim. Good job. Tiger. Walk, swash, run. Ooh, good job. Dragonfly. Fly. Good job. That's in the name, isn't it? I know. Shark. Swim. Oh, good job. Bear. Walk or run. run. Dog. Walk or run. Turtle. Walk or run. Giraffe. Walk or run. Wow, we've got a lot of the same. How about toucan? Fly. Good job, because it's a bird. Ooh, I know you did turtle right here, but what about a sea turtle? It's swim. Good job. What about a rabbit? Hop or, or jump. Ooh, good job. Just in time for Easter. What about a dolphin? Swim. What about a kangaroo? Hop or jump. Oh, and you're in your Australian accent. I love it. What about a whale? Swim. Bird. Fly. Lion. Walk or run. Horse. Walk or run. Cat. Walk or run. And last but not least, a frog. Hop or jump. Good job. So I'm wondering what what pattern did you see here? What category has the most animals that I found? Walk or run. So I wonder if most animals walk and run as compared to everything else. Which one had the next to the most? Um, swim. Good job. So there's a lot of animals that swim to get around. And then we had a tie for hopping and jumping and flying, right? Mm -hmm. So Elizabeth, would you like to know everybody's assignment for this week? Mm -hmm. You have got to go outside and observe the animals all around you and you have to sort the animals by how they move. So think of what we just did and that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna find some categories such as walk or run, hop or jump, fly, maybe you have a little pond by you and you could observe some animals that are swimming and you're gonna make your own chart just like this and classify animals by how they move. Good luck and I can't wait to see what you guys do. Bye.